to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do something very simple. I'm going to show you how much pugger is in my house. Or I'm going to try to, at least. I'll do my best. So, people say a lot of things about pugs that just aren't true. They can't breathe, or they're really loud, they're noisy, they struggle to breathe, it's, life's just uh, horrible for them, and all that stuff, you know, all that stuff. Like, none of it's true. The only thing, though, you cannot deny is the fact they shed hair. And they shed a lot of it. So my general routine is every Sunday or Monday, I'll do like a full house clean, brush all the carpets, the furniture, I'll do a full hoover, clean, just a general like, just clean. You guys know how clean the house works. And then on like a Wednesday, Thursday, it's so like three, four days later, like right in the middle of the week, I'll then just do like a quick hoover around the house and give them like a little quick brush. And I just kind of keep on top of it because that's what you have to do. You have to keep on top of it. However, this week I decided I didn't really decide, it just kind of happened. But I thought it'd be good for a video. I haven't done any of that. So what I have got now currently is one week, one, one, just, I'll call it one week's worth of hair. One week. One week. Two pugs. Something, something. So I'll use my fancy new lily brushes and we'll try and get as much hair as possible off the carpets and furniture and everything like that. See how much it is. We'll also brush the dogs to show you how much hair is in them, ready just to pour out. The car's actually the worst place because obviously they're going out, they get excited, they're jumping about in the car and they're wrestling each other in the back of the car, so hair just goes. But also, that's filled with lots of sand, lots of that, so I'll just show you. But I don't really mind hair, but there is a lot of it and there's a lot of upkeep. So. Let's go. It's always a full day dedicated to cleaning stuff and I'll wash my clothes and stuff and I'll also wash all the beddings, anything that I can take off. But for today, we'll just give them a shake up and try and get all the hair off them, but they do need clean, but I'll do that on a separate day. I don't know how well this picks up, but you might be able to see the amount of hair on the carpet. Maybe not. This is a good colour for pug hair though, because it is absolutely covered, but you can't actually see it unless you get right down to it. Whereas if you look at the couch over here, especially in bits like this, you can see how much is just everywhere. All the hair kind of brushes up into the corners. There's a few crumbs and things, because obviously we haven't actually cleaned in like a week. You can see under the table, it all just kind of blows under here. The hair just like sticks in fabric, so you can see everything just looks fluffy, so everything gets a good brush down. It always gets into the corner of the stairs. Also, somebody was sick last night, so I'm gonna have to clean that up I've just been letting it dry before I do that. I've lived in this house now like six years ish coming up seven I think something like that it's been a long time these carpets have been battered three puppies the carpets are a state aren't they yeah especially like under the couches because when you when you are sick and when you're a puppy you like to go hide because you didn't want to be in trouble so you went under the couches so anyways hair Bedroom, obviously that's where they sleep, but they don't always sleep in there, they'll always come out and maybe sleep down here, so we'll brush the bed down. We'll see how much hair- Ah, watch where you're going! Watch where you're going! Again though, usually I'll just like waft this outside and then just put it in the washing machine and just wash it and get a new sheet every week. But we'll just brush it just to see how much hair's on it and then I'll wash it tomorrow. You don't need to see me do my washing. And then we've got the beds in here and again we'll just give it a brush. Who did that? Who was that? Who did that? Was it you? Was it you? When they were sick the other week, they were like actually ill. Like that's just like a random bit of sick. Probably got a bit too hot during the night because somebody likes to crawl in the covers and they probably get a bit hot, go up, be sick, and then come back to bed, which is nice to know. But they're actually sick the other week, and you can see there's now a stain on the carpet from where he was sick. And you can see down there from when he was a puppy, he'd come and hide behind here and try and do wheeze and stuff. I mean, it's all been clean, it's all been professionally cleaned before, but it's just obviously stained and it doesn't look the best. And the whole house is going to need to spruce up soon. I mean, look at, you can see on the door there where like the dog's kind of scored to scratch it, and he's like, obviously, that needs repainted, re glossed. And then the carpet here is all worn down because that's the main route through to the kitchen. It's just, yeah. I'm rambling, we'll talk about that in a separate videos because I do have some plans coming up and I will explain all that in the vet video that I've been talking about. Anyways, I've got this bowl here, so what I'll do is when I collect the hair, I'll pop it in this bowl and we'll see if we can fill this whole bowl, which is a... Uh, I don't know how much it can hold, like cubic, whatever the measurement is. But once you've got all the hair in it, we'll see if we can try and measure it out and see how much hair comes out of these two in just one week and what's flying around the house. So we'll give them a brush. Then we'll give the floor a brush, we'll give the couches a brush, and then we'll just see. We'll give it a quick hoover as well. We'll have a look in the back of the car as well. So let's go. <laughs> this is very difficult. 
You make it very difficult if you do. <laughs> no, does it make you tired? Is it relaxing? You're sitting down. You have enough. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you can get all that off. Obviously you need to clean the floor, but look at that. It's like half a bowl of hair in a week. You can only brush them so much without brushing one go, so it's better to do it in like half goes. Because obviously it is a blade, so it does kind of irritate the skin. You can see he sits down, he's not happy with it. So then you stop. But the majority of it's out, but I could have kept going, and there's probably still more in there that will come out. But like I say, I'll do it in another couple of days and get the rest of it out, and it's just like a cycle. But if you didn't do that, all of that there will be on your carpets, will be on your couch, and it's much harder to get it out of here and here than it is just giving them a brush. Uh, probably do it outside, I would guess. The only problem with doing it outside is here is because of the fence stuff. Either way, it just blows back in the door, like it stays here and then it just blows back in, just like blow away. Take them to the park, do it at the park, and it's not your problem. Actually, is that littering? Is that littering? Would that be classed as littering? I don't know. Don't do that. Not everyone will ask. Look at that, like new. So some quick tips, always start at the top and then work downwards. You have just watched me do the kitchen first, but do as I say, not as I do. The kitchen was too much hair, because if they were walking in and out of it, the dogs and stuff getting drinks or whatever, it'd be spreading all over the house. So I just clean that up quickly and it'll get a proper clean at the end. But start at top, go to the bottom, because if obviously if you do downstairs and then you start doing the top, it'll all just blow downstairs and then you're gonna have to do it again. So start at the top, work down. Hi Stan! I brought a ball up here. So once I've got all the hair, I'll put it in the ball and we'll see how much we can get out of it. Tip number two, get a brush. Because if you don't brush them and you don't get rid of all that hair, it'll be all over your carpets, which is a nightmare. But with these, it's a lot less of a nightmare. So it is. Tip number three, don't wear socks. Because why don't we wear socks, Stanley? You tell the people. You lost the ability to talk. Oh no. If you stand in hair with socks, it goes into your socks and then you start transferring it all over the house into the clean rooms. So don't wear socks because like if it's on your feet, go and then it's all off. Whereas socks, it'll get woven in and yeah. So to go on that point, try and wear nylon. I wear nylon shorts when I'm brushing them because as you can see, they're clean, there's nothing on them. Whereas my t-shirt, which is like cotton, there's hair still all over it, so that's going to come off in the house. So try and wear nylon, try not to wear socks. If you really want, just do it completely naked. That would probably be the best, but obviously I'm filming, so can't. But I tell you what, this is making this a hell of a lot easier. You used to have to do it with a little one, it took ages. Now, fire! And then we just brush the rest into the floor and then we'll pick, pick it all up. What we do with the floor? Oh, look at that. Don't you dare. So that took just about five minutes to do that whole bed, so it's all now complete. Was all the hair removed. Now obviously the easiest way to stop getting hair on the bed is by not letting them in the room, but it's only me and I like them in the bed, it's nice company on a night, so I don't mind. But getting rid of the hair makes it a hell of a lot less itchy. Like I said, this will just get washed anyways, but for video purposes, 
you can just brush all the hair off if needs be with a lily brush. Well, thank God you've been brushed. I'm gonna have an itchy face tonight. Yeah. Whoop! You sitting in the sun? You tanning your belly? Oh, good boys. Good boys. Yeah. See, the brush doesn't quite get it all. You can only brush it so far and then you've got to pick it up and then there'll still be a little bit left. So I'll go over it with a hoover and then get the rest of it. Like, you could brush it even harder for even longer and probably get it all, but it's best just to do it like a kind of good brushing to get it all loose and then go over with the hoover and get all that loose hair up. That's the easiest way to do it. As you can probably hear in my voice though, it's very tiring to do it. So usually I'd only do the downstairs and then the stairs, I normally leave upstairs because they don't come up here that often so therefore it's quite light hair that's up here so the hoover normally just does it all but for purposes of the video I'm doing upstairs as well I just want to go and sit with them over there because it's two rubber blades on a carpet so there is quite a bit of resistance so we'll see what comes out downstairs but you can see already it's a lot of hair so I'll go have a breather outside I'll come back do the stairs, do it downstairs and then we'll do a quick pass with the hoover on it all and see how much we have. He's just gonna stay there. Excellent. And the reason you go top to bottom guys is because if you decide to put all your hair in a ball and then knock the ball over with your big fat elbow it doesn't undo the work you've already done just from that little square in the corner. This is gonna be, take a while. So that's this whole carpet now done. Couch is done, you can see the Clean. There's still the odd hair here and there. I'm gonna all oh, haven't been OCD about it. I am against the clock. And as you can see, I've got like almost a full ball. As you can see, it's it's like compressed down and in. It's still like a full ball. That's all your hair. So we've got one full ball. Put that in there. It is almost a liter. A liter of hair in a week. One litre of hair in a week. Let's see where that. And there. 18 grams, tw like 20 grams worth of hair. And it weighs nothing. It weighs like 20 grams. I would say probably 15 of that's yours because you actually don't shed that much. You, you shed a lot. So what we'll do now is we'll get the hoover out, we'll do a quick 
around the house and we'll see how much hair we get extra from that because like I said there is still a little bit we've done the majority with that but it's very tiring I could keep going with it but I'm against the clock so let's see what the Hoover gets empty And then this is the rest. So that picked up plenty more. I wasn't emptying that in the house though, because that was like there's loads of sand and dirt and stuff. Because there's so much sand. I'll show you my car in like two seconds, and you can see like the sand that comes from there ends up inside in the carpet. But that brush is really good because it like it, as you see when you're brushing it, maybe you see on the video, but like it kind of clouds up and it like like all the dirt that's inside like. Because it pulls on the carpet, it like flings it all up in the air, so it's loose on the top, so the hoover just goes straight over it, so it gets nice and clean. So the combination of the two, fantastic. So the best thing to do so you're not doing a litre of hair in one day is just to do it periodically, give them a quick brush every now and then, just quickly whip over with the hoover every now and then, and then when you do come use the brush and stuff, it's not as hard work getting it all out because you'll have been maintaining it. It's all about maintaining and kind of just keeping it low. You'll never get rid of it, but you're keeping it as low as possible and as easy and manageable as possible. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this is helpful or just entertaining, I don't know. Pugs shed a lot of hair. Conclusion, TLDR, that's it. Simples. So I'll show you the state of the boot after a week's walk, just at the end. So thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, please do like the video, subscribe if you're new and wanna see more and all that wonderful things. Thank you guys for watching, peace out. So, even more.